Hello, and welcome to the Biomass Magazine podcast. I'm your host, Anna Simmet. Hope everyone is doing well in the new year. On today's episode, I have Timo Mueller from Salmatech. Timo, hello, and thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So, Timo, you're speaking at the upcoming International Biomass Conference and Expo in Richmond, Virginia in March. You are no stranger to that conference, and you are part of a panel that will provide an overview of the art of making wood pellets. But before we get into that, could you tell our listeners a little bit about Selma Tech, what the company does, and what your role is there? Yeah, of course. First of all, thanks for having me on this podcast and also as a speaker at the Biomass Conference. As you said already, it's not my first time. It will be my third time already, and I'm really excited already. So about myself, I'm Timo. I'm the Business Development Director of Cymatec. We are one of the leading pellet mill manufacturers and developers. We do, as I said, pellet mills, but also the stuff around that. So basically all kinds of machines related to the pelleting technology, we do rollers, dyes, everything there. Over the years, since 1972, we've installed roughly 2,000 pellet mills, about 500 of which are in the biomass industry, and those have a combined capacity of about 13 million metric tons per year. And yeah, that's who we are. As I said, I'm the business development director since late 2023, and I started with Samatech in 2018. Wow, that's a lot of capacity. So, Timo, do you spend a lot of time inside pellet plants? Uh, whenever I can, actually. Mm -hmm. So uh, I try to go there as often as I can. Our core business is in Europe. So we have a lot of pellet plants here, but also all over the world. We export into 70 countries and our pellet mills are basically everywhere in the world. Mm hmm. All right. So thank you for that introduction. Let's get into the panel that you're part of. It's kind of a pellet making 101 course and you have a few other pellet industry experts alongside you. Uh, what are you going to talk about during your portion? Mm -hmm. So to tell you something about my portion, I want to give a short introduction about the panel itself because it's kind of a special one. We don't have a panel of four individual presentations, but rather one big presentation presented by four speakers. And that's what's interesting here. Um, and the idea came up in 2022 already at the Biomass Conference in Jacksonville, when Mike of Karl, Holger of Batan and Jason, who will be on this panel too, Holger too, uh, we we had a discussion about how hard it is to properly train your staff uh, in the pellet plant. So not just the the uh, pellet mill operators, but also the production managers and directors to tell them how the pelleting process actually work to get the basics to them. And this is due to the reason that this industry is still quite new. So. It's been around for a couple of decades, but it really took off in the last 15 years. Mm -hmm. And we've seen so many new players during those last few years entering the game. And there's so many new people here. And there are still no proper training programs, mm -hmm. which is very different in other industries. We are active in the animal feed production too, for example. And there are big courses, big training programs for that. Um, in Germany, for example, you can have a three and a half year training program for animal feed production. Of course, that's not all about pelleting, but pelleting plays a big role in that too. But for wood pelleting, we have nothing like that. It's people who used to work in a sawmill who get transferred to the pelleting plant. And uh, they are new to this. And oftentimes not even the production managers know enough to really get the basics to them. And so we thought, what could we do to change that? And mm -hmm. unfortunately, we're not able at this point to offer a three and a half year training program. But we had the idea to use the biomass conference platform where a lot of stakeholders get together to summarize some of the knowledge we as people from this industry have collected over the years and present that so that there might be a little bit for everyone, mm -hmm. which sounds quite unspecific. But yeah, we had a similar panel last year. Actually, the same people, the same name and the same structure, but there will be new stuff this year. I can promise that we have all gained some knowledge, made some experiences and we will share what we found since last year too. 
And the idea is that Kyle of CPM, he will start with the pretreatment process. So everything from milling all the way to conditioning. And that's where, where I will take over with the pelleting process. So I will talk about what happens inside of the pellet mill. And what's important to note here is we don't want to get too specific, which sounds quite odd for this panel. But what I mean by that is we don't want to get too specific on equipment, but rather on the technique itself. So mm -hmm. it wouldn't be useful if I, Kyle, told you something about a specific CPM hammer mill and I told them something about uh, a specific Zymatec pellet mill. We want to keep it as unspecific regarding the equipment as possible, but specific to the technique. Mm -hmm. And that's what we will uh, try to do there. And after myself, Jason of Kesco, he will continue with the cooling and storage, which is very important too, because when you when you see a pellet exit the pellet mill, it looks like a finished product. It looks like exactly what you can see when you when you buy a pellet. It's a finished pellet by the looks, but there's still like the last 20% to go. And that's where things get interesting because it plays such a big role to the quality of your pellet. Mm -hmm. And uh, finally, Holger will end this whole panel with um, the maintenance and service part. So he will discuss service intervals. Uh, he will talk about what needs to be kept in mind when doing maintenance on any kind of pelleting equipment. This sounds really great, Timo. Um, let's talk just a little bit more about your portion. In your mm -hmm. abstract, you mentioned you're going to talk about some ground rules. Could you give an example of one of those ground rules that you're going to talk about? Yeah, one of those ground rules for sure when it comes to the pelleting part, especially. So what happens inside the pellet mill is how to start the machine which is often overlooked. Um, you can do so much wrong when you start the machine not the right way. So there can be damages that are seen immediately, like a die could break, which is very obvious. But there are also smaller damages, which you will see over the months or years coming. So uh, that's something I will focus on in my presentation. Very interesting. So it sounds like this panel is going to be really good for those who might be new to pellets, but it might be a great, you know, refresher to learn some new things too. Yeah, I think so. So Timo, one last question before we wrap things up. What would you say is your favorite part of working in the wood pellet space? What I really like about wood pellets and this whole industry is that it's growing so much, but it's still a niche. So it's still something special and the knowledge we we gain in this industry is still valuable. I mean, with AI coming up in, in this time, you see a lot of knowledge that's just out there on the Internet and you can access it so easily. But in our industry, in, in wood pelleting, what all the people at Biomass Conference, what they know it's hardly accessible on the internet um, mm. for anyone. So this valuable information is still available on those conferences and not anywhere on the internet. That was a great answer. Thank you. So Timo is presenting on Tuesday, March 5th at 1 p.m. on the panel titled Soup to Nuts, an overview of the art of making wood pellets. The International Biomass Conference and Expo will be held March 4th through 6th in Richmond, Virginia. You can find the agenda or register at biomassconference.com. Wood pellet producers actually get in free. Timo, I think that will do it for this episode. And I just want to thank you so much for talking with us today about Sound Attack and your upcoming presentation. And I really look forward to seeing you. Thank you. I'm really excited to go to Richmond. And to our listeners, Happy New Year. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time.